Hi guys, Wilhelm here and today I wanted to show you the last game of the FIDE World Cup 2021. So after this game we will have a winner. This is the second game of Jan Krzysztof Duda versus Sergei Karyakin. Jan Krzysztof Duda, best player from Poland and Sergei Karyakin, the challenger to Magnus Carlsen for the World Championship title in 2016. All right. Let's check it out. Quick note before we jump into it, most of you watching are actually not subscribed. So if you want to support me, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's go. So their first game was drawn and this is the second game. And Duda with the white pieces opens with d4. We have knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3 and d5. We transpose into a queen's gambit declined. Knight to f6, c5 striking in the center. This is the semi tarash. And now cd5, cd4, this is a very trendy way to play this nowadays. Queen takes d4, ed5, and bishop to g5 pinning this knight. Bishop to e7, e3. Castles, rook to d1, bringing the rook to the center, also putting some pressure on this d5 pawn. Knight to c6, kicking the queen, queen to a4. Bishop to e6, defending the pawn, and now a bishop to b5. Now double attacking this knight with this battery. Queen to b6 defending and in this position the move that's always been played is this move castles for white but uh, here Jan Krzysztof plays a novelty he plays bishop takes f6 and it is as of move 12 that we have a completely new game. So okay bishop takes f6 now Karyakin has the bishop pair but now Duda can win a pawn so he plays knight takes d5 bishop takes d5 rook takes d5 and Karyakin wins his pawn back with bishop takes b2. And here you would think that white can just castle and keep playing. But Duda here plays an impressive move and it's the move king to e2. A delayed bomb cloud saying, well I don't need to castle, my king is safe in the middle of the board. So okay, bishop back to f6 because you could uh, play rook to b1 before to pin it. And now rook h to d1. So now Duda gets great control of the d file. Rook a to c8. And now bishop back to c4. From there this bishop will be able to potentially pressure this f7 pawn in the future. Okay, queen to b4 offering a trade of queens and we have queen to b3. Duda says if you want to trade queens, we're going to trade queens on my terms. And this is exactly what happens. Okay, Karyakin plays knight back to b8 with the idea of controlling this d7 square to prevent the rook from coming there. But now g4 by Duda. Duda is really just going for it. Okay, h6 to prevent this move, g5, and now h4, g6, and now g5, hg5, hg5, and now the bishop's attacked, bishop back to e7, rook to e5, and now knight to c6. And in this position, Duda has a very strong move, so feel free to pause the video and see if you can find it. Alright, so in this position, Duda's rook is attacked, but he plays the move rook to d7, saying, come on, take my rook. And if you take the rook, well, after knight takes, this bishop's attacked, let's say you go here, then, well, there's many good moves for white. You can play f4, and after, let's say, bishop goes back, you can even take on g6, and black will be forced to give up this rook, because... If not, let's say you move the rook here, well then comes uh, rook takes f7. No matter what you do, I mean there's going to be a lot of very nasty discoveries and potentially made to come. So here Karyakin cannot take this e5 rook. Instead he plays this move bishop back to d8, but now rook to b5. Now pressuring this b6 pawn with two pieces. And here... Karyakin plays the move knight to a5 and in this position there was an immediate win for Duda which he didn't find so maybe feel free to pause the video once more and try to find the winning move for white. Alright so here the winning move actually is to play a rook takes d8 and after any rook takes you just take the knight and you have two pieces for the rook, which is completely winning. And if knight takes b3, well, you just take on f8 with check. Let's say rook takes and then you take on b3 and you're up a piece. Okay, but here 
Jan Krzysztof Duda didn't play this move rook takes d8. And instead, he plays the move bishop to d5. Which is still winning for him, but it's not as obvious. So, now we have rook to c7 offering a trade of rooks. But now, bishop takes f7. And of course, if you take here, I can take on d8 with check. And then I will take your knight. So after bishop takes f7, so we have king to g7. And after rook takes c7, rook takes c7, and bishop to d5. It was in this position that Sergei Karyakin resigned the game. And why did he resign? Well, this position is completely winning. First of all, your b7 pawn is attacked. So let's say you play bishop to b6. Well, then just comes knight to e5. And after, let's say, rook to e8, knight to d7. And now this knight exerts lots of pressure. You're going to lose some material, lose some pawns. And I think Sergei just had enough of this position. Uh, the engine here says plus 6, completely winning for white. And with this, Jan Krzysztof Duda from Poland wins the FIDE World Cup 2021 in astounding fashion, beating so many great players, beating Magnus, beating Karyakin. And with this, both of these players get a spot in the next candidates tournament. So, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and have an excellent rest of your day.